animation and graphic design programs at Nelson Mandela provide students with a unique opportunity to explore the possibilities of media. In this course, students will discover new ways of creating media to share with the world, developing their digital voices along the way. This program allows students to explore various career pathways such as graphic design, animation, and new media, to name a few. Students will learn how to use a variety of digital tools throughout the animation program and expand the way they'll be able to communicate with the world. Students will learn to use the two most popular pieces of design software, Photoshop and Illustrator. Using this software, students will learn how to make logos, digital graphics, and assets for their animation projects. Advancing into the realm of animation, students will work with two pieces of animation software, Adobe Animate and After Effects. When using Adobe Animate, students will take their first steps into creating their animations and will slowly build up knowledge, skills, and confidence to create increasingly complex and sophisticated projects. When using Adobe After Effects, students will explore software that is used to create motion graphics and special effects. The Graphic Design and Animation course is a place where students can come and learn a set of skills that will have a variety of potential uses in a world that is now dominated by digital media. Hi there, my name is Mr. Evanson and I teach Legal Studies here at Nelson Mandela High School. Legal Studies is an interdisciplinary, module-based career and technology course which focuses on developing legal skills and processes and helps aspiring learners gain an understanding of Canadian law. Students in Legal Studies can expect to learn about a variety of legal events, issues, ideas and concepts throughout the introductory, intermediate and advanced levels of the course. Overall, students who take Legal Studies will come to appreciate the role of law in society and in doing so, develop their capacity as engaged and informed citizens. As a CTS course, one of the primary functions of Legal Studies is exposing students to the diversity of careers connected to the law. This is accomplished through career exploration tasks, in-class presentations by lawyers and other legal professionals, and off-campus field study opportunities. Though not necessarily a primer for university level studies or entrance to law school, students will be encouraged to think abstractly and philosophically about the law and challenged to understand analytical and logical reasoning through special project modules focused on the games, reading comprehension and formal logic sections of the law school admissions test. Legal Studies is an academic option, but it is above all else a course for anyone wanting to learn about and understand the nature and function of law and society. Looking forward to seeing you in class. Hi, I'm Ms. Paul. This is our fitness studio that we use for the sports performance program. As you can see, we have lots of different equipment ranging from a variety of dumbbells to sandbags, we have our lift pulls for cardio, and then we have our rowers over here. We break the benches out every day for students to work on, and then we also have our spin bikes for some more cardio. Uh, part of our program is lots of speed and agility, core and muscle strength. It is not a phys ed class, it's a fitness based class where you learn different things about fitness, nutrition, exercise routine. Uh, so we hope that you join our class next year. Thank you. You're doing great. Welcome to Computer Science. In this course, we create computer programs using Python in grade 10. You'll notice on the screen that there's different examples coming up of different kinds of programs that you can make in this course. Eventually in grade 11 and 12, we move on to using Java in computer science to create our programs. Throughout the course, you will be designing and creating your own programs. Everything you see on the screen has been created by students who have gone through computer science. In the beginning, you'll start 
by making and testing simple programs. As the course progresses, your programs will continue to get more complicated. By the end of the course, you'll be able to add graphics and other advanced features to your program. For those who wish to challenge themselves, advanced placement is offered in computer science in grade 11 and 12. Computer science can also be used as one of the courses to gain admittance into post-secondary. Software Application 10, or Information Processing 10, is a course designed to help you develop and hone your work habits, troubleshooting, and problem-solving skills in order to succeed in an increasingly information technology-driven world. The course allows you to work with Microsoft's suite of software by adding to your understanding of the more complex features and using the various programs to tackle real-world problems. The credits that make up this course encourage your independence and for you to develop your self-learning skills. These include deciding what you need to know in order to tackle a problem, learning how to search and impl implement solutions, and managing your time and the resources you have. The program also offers considerable flexibility by allowing the learner to move at their own pace, which is encourages independence uh, and is supported by collaboration with your peers and instructors. Finally, opportunities are also provided for students to learn software programs that interest them, as they are encouraged to develop competence in software of their own choosing as well. Looking forward to seeing you in September. God, did you see the picture they just posted? What is Ew, that? What is that? What is the angle's that? Not angles, angles, the angles not color. it. Oh my angles God. Not Exposure. It, Let me show you a picture I took after taking photography ten. That's that is so, so nice. nice. I love how the shadow is reflected in everything. Welcome to Mandela United Photography. Starting in grade 10, our team of experienced photographers want to take you and your Snap or Instagram game up a few notches. And over the next three years, take you from you to hashtag slay. Through the study of the fundamentals of photographic composition, technology, techniques, and communication, Mandela students can expect to grow as photographers. The biggest thing our students need to succeed coming into our photo labs is a drive to kick up their skills a notch behind the camera, inside the modern digital darkroom, and working with their friends and peers. Photography 10. Snap up your spot. Have you ever thought it would be interesting to design a house, car, furniture, or even an entire interior space? Then the Design Studies program at Nelson Mandela might interest you. In design studies, students will learn a vast set of skills in a variety of different design disciplines. Students will participate in design projects that will have them take the place of architects, industrial designers, interior designers, and even graphic designers. Students will begin their journey by learning a variety of useful pieces of design software and apply their new knowledge to solve interesting design challenges and problems. If you're interested in a creative career, the Design Studies program will help you explore the potential career options available to you and make sure you are ready when the time comes to apply to post-secondary programs. Do you like learning about the human body? Maybe you're interested in being a physiotherapist. Maybe you'd like to be a doctor someday. Or maybe you just want to know what makes us go. If you take sports medicine, you're going to get an opportunity to learn about this and more. In sports medicine, we specifically learn about human anatomy, the skeletal system and the muscular system. Really, we're looking at bones and muscles. Where are our bones? What do our muscles do? And how do they work together to create our movement? And through that movement, we can do things like play sports. And one thing that comes with sports is injuries. So we'll also spend a lot of time learning about different athletic injuries. You'll learn how to recognize injuries and more specifically, how to treat different injuries. One of the ways that you'll treat injuries is through our athletic tape jobs. It's a huge part of the sports medicine program. Weekly, you'll learn about different athletic tape jobs that you can do to support an athlete. 
whether there's an injury at a joint or whether they need something to help with a previous injury or a muscular injury or something of the sort. One of the biggest and most exciting things that you get to do as a part of sports medicine is work as an athletic trainer, where you actually go to our team's sporting events and you help out those athletes when they get injured. Of course, you'll have learned how to do this in class and you get to apply this in the real situation. So come join us to find out more. Welcome to Marketing and Management. In this course, students will be able to explore the world of marketing and promotion. Throughout the course, you will analyze and create your own products as well as promotional materials. This includes digital and print flyers, brochures, signs, and so forth. You will also be given the opportunity to create video and audio materials. You will look at ways companies struggle with distribution of products and the ethics of advertising. Hi, I'm Mr. Johnston. Welcome to Financial Management. I teach Introduction to Financial Management at the grade 10 level where you're going to develop a healthy respect for finances, money, in both personal finances and in business services industries. Hi, and I'm Mr. Hall. In 2030, we expose you to the idea of what it would look like if you're a non entrepreneur. You're going to become a business person and we give you some experience in the accounting area. But think of it this way. You're about to leave high school. You have decided you want to do business and hey, we can offer you the 20 and the 30 level and it's all for free. Imagine free in the finance class. So here's the deal. When you walk into the school, we want you to come and check us out. Right, Mr. Johnson? Right, Mr. Hall. So look, we're looking forward to seeing you in September in our courses. Remember, Financial Management 10, 20, and 30. Thank you. See you soon. Welcome to Fashion Technologies at Nelson Mandela High School, a module-based five or six credit course offered at the introductory, intermediate, and advanced levels. After three years in the program, Students will have the ability to design, construct, and maintain their own wardrobes, as well as serve the alteration needs of others. As students move through each level, they have the opportunity to tailor their program to suit their individual interests and needs. At the introductory level, students begin by completing the Sewing Fundamentals module, where they will learn how to safely use and care for sewing and pressing equipment. Students will then apply these skills towards creating a simple pillowcase or a zipper pouch. Next, students will work towards creating their first garment, a choice between a skirt or shorts, taking basic body measurements, selecting a pattern, making alterations, preparing and caring for fabric, and using a pattern to cut and transfer markings are just some of the skills emphasized in the Construction Fundamentals module. The creative highlight of the term is the Redesign, Recycle, and Restore module. Students experiment by repairing, customizing, or embellishing something old to give it new function or purpose. From there, students move to choosing their final two to three modules as they create beautiful finished products in the textile arts, working with knitwear, experimenting in fashion illustration, or creating accessories. Have you ever looked around you, seen a traffic light, sidewalk, or a piece of a computer and wondered how does that work? If so, robotics at Nelson Mandela High School might actually be a good course for you. In this course, we're going to explore the idea of engineering and how the world around you is made, built, designed, and otherwise put together. We look at a few topics in this course, including the idea of CAD design. How do we design things in two dimensions and three dimensions using AutoCAD and Fusion 360 to Autodesk products? We also look at rapid prototyping, the idea of 3D printing. How can we build something to test out an idea or see how the world around us works? We also look at electronics, an extension on what you've already done in grade 9 or are doing in grade 9. And we also look at how to code things and use that as electronics with an Arduino or another microcontroller to actually put that together. 
This course eventually could lead to something like the Nelson Mandela Robotics Team, where we take an extracurricular view of this and build some really awesome robots and compete against teams all over Alberta. With that being said, I look forward to seeing you all in the lab under the stairs next year. Come check it out and build some cool stuff with us. When you see your sheet to sign up for grade 10 in the next little while, you're going to see three courses on there that don't have a video as the rest of them do. They're actually brand new courses to Nelson Mandela next year that we're hoping to offer. They include Aboriginal Studies, Natural Resources, and Leadership. In Aboriginal Studies, you're going to shift your thinking and understanding about Aboriginal people and the issues and challenges they face and the contributions they've made to Canadian society. You'll examine how Aboriginal and Indigenous people are striving towards maintaining and promoting cultures and identities that reflect values based on respect for the laws of nature and the continual pursuit of balance among individuals, the family, the larger community, and the global community context. In Natural Resources, students are going to look at our relationship to nature, to the grown or environmental world. One big hands-on piece of that course will be using the grow towers that we have all around the school to, to grow your own plants and study the science of horticulture. That course will also look at other sorts of resources and our relationship to them and how we work with them in society and in the greater context of the world. Lastly, we have leadership. This is the extension of a club that already runs at Nelson Mandela High School, but next year we're going to offer it as a class. If you want to study the act of being a mentor or mentoring somebody, leading a major project, or otherwise studying how leadership works, this class is probably a really good place for you. That brings us to the end of the videos, but there's still two of our CTS programs that you haven't seen yet, Culinary Arts and Aviation. Those are two of our coolest physical spaces, and we want to actually walk you through those. So in the next few minutes, we're going to go for a walk, we're going to take a look into the fashion room, we're going to go through culinary arts, we're going to take a look at the robotics room, and walk you through aviation before we send you on to your next stop. With that being said, thank you for your time and patience, and good luck choosing your courses for next year. Remember that in addition to Phys Ed and Com, you get three complimentary courses which can include any of the CTS options you've just seen from today. We look forward to seeing you at Mandela next year.